We're going to keep looking at uh, closures and iterators now because uh, you use them a lot when you start to get used to the, uh, you know, that functional style of programming and they're super convenient. So we are going to practice today enumerate with, uh, with a method called enumerate. And this, uh, this will give you, this gives you uh, the index of an item along with the item. So if you start out with a, uh, let's say you start out with a, a vec called num vec, and uh, it just has three numbers, 10, nine, and eight. And then we're going to call uh, call iter, and then we're going to call enumerate on this. And uh, what it'll do is it'll give, um, it'll say, it'll give these tuples. It'll say, you know, here's item item zero, which is, uh, which is the number 10. And then it'll say, and, you know, here's item one, here's, it's a nine, and then item two. So it'll give us this back. And you can imagine this is con convenient because you have the, uh, the index number here and the item. And you can say like item, you know, if item dot zero is, you know, less than five, then you want to do something. You can say like item plus one equals, plus equals 10, you know, change your numbers and stuff like that. So let's uh, let's do that. Something similar. So numvec, uh, we are going to first uh, make it into an iterator, and then we are going to call enumerate, and this will change it into uh, it'll actually change it into a type called enumerate. And this is uh, this is the interesting part. We'll see this in a second, but uh, I just want to show you the uh, the type signature. So if you go to the enumerate method, it actually creates an enumerate. That's the name of the type. And we'll see why it does that in a second. So anyway, we have a, an enumerate and then for each. And this is, uh, you remember for each is just uh, do something to each, uh, each item. Uh, this is uh, for each. So it's basically a for loop basically, you know, the same thing. And, uh, you know, a map is do something, then pass it on. And uh, this, uh, you'll see this in a second. Uh, so anyway, for each, and we are getting, what are we getting? We're getting tuples. So uh, we'll pass in a, we'll give them names. We'll say the name is index and number. And for each one of them, we are going to say uh, index number, something is the number something and then it's just regular you know index number and that is pretty easy basically a for loop uh let's see don't forget the second curly brackets let's move that down a bit <clears throat> and there you go so index number zero is the number 10 one is the number nine index number two is the number eight and so yeah, that is how you use enumerate. And now we're going to um, look at the the way the uh, the way these are put together. And the best way to do that is look at map. And you know map. You know, let's say uh, you know you're passing it on, and that usually means you know do uh, collect and turn it into like a, a vec at the end. So you like add one to this, add one to this, add one to this, and then collect it. But let's uh, let's think about what happens if we if we don't pass it on. So we just want to say numvec either enumerate map index number, and we're just going to pass it on. We're not going to do anything, and uh, let's see what happens. And you can see it actually works. So it's not an error, but it tells us, hey, uh, you have an unused map, and so this is the type. Uh, map created by map. So, you know, uh, enumerate made an enumerate, map made a map. And um, it also tells you this, iterators are lazy and do nothing ex unless consumed. So that means you've uh, you've set up your iterator, but it's not, uh, you're not doing anything with it. You have this uh, this iterator type that's, uh, that's based on this plus this plus this, or that maybe like this inside this, inside this, and it's ready to go, but you didn't do anything with it. And you can actually see its type if we give it a uh, a nonsense uh, nonsense method, and then make it complain, and it's going to say, 
hey, I don't know uh, what to do with this method on this type. And the type is map enumerate standard slice iter. So there's the map. Inside that is enumerate. Inside that is an iter. And inside that is, uh, there's a lifetime thing. We'll look at that later. And there's an integer. And there's a closure. The closure actually becomes part of the type. And so you can see it's this big, big type that's uh, that's ready to ready to go. And the reason why Rust does that is because um, it uh, it wants to be efficient, and it you don't want to have like a uh, numvec and then do the iterator and then get the results for the iterator and then take the results and put it back in enumerate and then take those and uh, bring it back and then put it inside map because you know then you're just you know passing your data in getting it back passing it and getting it back so rust will make this big big uh, structure that uh, that only runs once and uh, that is why you see these uh, these big type names it's it's because it's ready to go so uh, so instead of that we'll say uh, let's say uh, new vec equals uh, numvec and um, I don't know what are we going to do let's make it an into iter so we can we can uh, consume it and then we'll I don't know, collect it into a vec of I don't know whatever rest wants to make uh, let's say uh, map index number let's say index uh, plus uh, equals one no we don't want that we want number plus equals one number plus equals one and then we will hold on let's put this inside some brackets and then we will say we'll return it and then we'll collect it into a vec and hopefully that works and there you go so now it works um da, 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 da. make this binding mutable that's right we want to bring it in as a mutable number running it again and this time it works so now we can um, we have this new vec and I don't know let's see let's see what's inside it say new vec we'll print it out I'm going to format that again I think that's kind of ugly that's a bit better so uh, you can see we uh, so we made this big big structure that is uh, a map with an enumerate inside, with an intuiter inside, and inside of that is the data, and of course there's a there's a closure inside as well. And then we collected and we made this new vec, and we only ran it once, uh, which is why um, you know Rust is uh, so fast at uh, at doing this. And that is the that's what's uh, behind the uh, the reason why you don't have to worry about uh, you know iterators and uh, and uh, and closures being slow because uh, it does all the work in the back for you and uh, so it just uh, ends up being really really fast